I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Why are people calling me? Does that, me? like, pick back up after? Yeah. Yes. You Sorry. Wow. Someone just called if me. If somebody was trying to contact Holly, <laughs> I don't want to talk we're to using you. her phone for this. <laughs> um, okay, so we were, these are some questions, like, I got these, like, I don't know, probably, like, two months ago, but we never actually got to them. So people were asking, I asked probably, like, what are some random questions, and um, this is actually a good one. Someone said, do you think telling your partner the exact number of people you have slept with is important? Everyone I mean, gets a turn. I mean, <laughs> and I'm thinking about that, though, because that's, like, yes and no, because it's not important because that was before your partner. But some people, like, even like, though they say it doesn't matter, they're still, like, they want to know, yeah. and then they're going to judge you. Of course, I... I and is it okay to lie about it if it is a high number? Because how would they ever find no, out? Yeah. But, like, at the same time... Look. Don't ask questions up. you don't want them to Grow up. To. Seriously, because you know what? We have all been through shit. Yeah. We've all made mistakes. We yeah. all regret things. Yeah. We have memories that we would rather not remember. Oh, yeah. Um... And you know what? If you have any sense, you won't freaking count. Because you're not trying to build a number, you're trying to build a relationship, and you just yeah. happen to do it with the wrong people. But sometimes you know the number. Yeah. Well, if you know the so. number, but you know what? At the same time, I think that it's okay it to be vague, you know? And people are really immature when it comes to that. And My answer to that one is don't ask questions you don't want to But if they are you. asking the question, like, do you tell them, or do you... Like, but they don't no, know the my, particular like circumstances oh, surrounding the so situation. Don't someone, ask, yeah, don't ask questions you don't want the real answer to. Yeah, because I get I get that. Like, shit, I get that, and then like, yes, me too. Well, I was just like, like, like that, that, why am I like, saying all I've this? also been asked. Well, was your ex boyfriend bigger than me or smaller than me? Don't I don't like that question. Don't ask. Why does it matter? Okay, that really is about size, though. Like, obviously, if you're like an introvert. That sucks, like, like when sure. they have the really tiny ones that do nothing, but, like, at the, yeah, at the same time, like, you can have sex with someone who has an eight-inch penis, and they don't know what the hell they're, they're doing, doing, and it's like, right, oh, you're inside, And it can be uncomfortable. I'm sorry, but there are some people who are just naturally built smaller, and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. You, you hit, like, a certain, and it's like, you know what, this isn't pleasurable yeah, totally anymore. Yeah. It's exactly. painful. So, like, people, like, there's a very men thin think line they have, have, what did he put, my big fat dick or whatever he put, like, like men always think they have to have, like, big, the biggest dick. penises. And in reality, I don't relate like, to that, though. It's not important to me. Average is, like, five and a half or five and a quarter. And if you can, it yeah. That is size. size. But exactly. there's a whole lot more involved in sex than just putting it in. Yeah. Yes. You know, there's a whole lot there's more. If you want to have good and memorable sex, it's so not the cop putting it in and pulling it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's like the beginning that gets you into it. So it's like, if they're really good with their tongue and foreplay, like, you might have already came two or three times. So yeah. once you're having sex, you're just, you're just there like, hurry up and you're do just, it. Yeah, <laughs> get over with. So you, you're good because I'm already ready for bed. I'm good, you know? <laughs> so, like, um, someone, I think someone like mentioned that to me. Like, it's foreplay, like, important. Can you just do foreplay? And no sex. I and mean, like, yeah. People ask me this stuff all the time, and it's they like they haven't had one of our parties yet, then have they? Yeah, probably. Like a lot of so people like, if you have really great foreplay, exactly. No, they really don't. Yeah, because I mean, we really need clitoral yeah. stimulation, yeah. and you can't get that with the penis. Mm -hmm. You can get that with your finger, their finger, or a toy. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, there are some women like I forgot the percentage, but it's super low that can have an orgasm just from like sex. But that's like very uncommon. One. One percent. Oh no, I can definitely have an orgasm from sex if I'm on top. Okay. If I'm on top, that's where it's at. You're the There's, there's, you know, it's not every time. Yeah, I know. It, it's so, not. Okay. It's so, yeah. difficult. It's hard. But you know what? There's also other ways. There's ways to be creative. You can be on the bottom and fiddle your fiddle. Um, there's, you know, the lazy morning sex. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, yes. the almost fish out of water sex when, like, yeah. the light just lazy. gets draped <laughs> over, like, the guy. And you do your flipping. Ladies, like, should know how to get themselves off because otherwise nobody else is going to know how to get yeah. you off. And, and I love how people are like, oh, I don't know how to tell my partner. Like, well, it's never going to get any better. Like, you need to either, like, yeah. I've told people because, like, people tell me all the time, like, oh, I don't know how to tell my partner this, 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 and this, and I'll give them enhancement cream, which will get them to be like a button, their clitoris to be a button to help them out, but if their partner doesn't know to touch the button, 
It's not going to do anything. where the button is. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, I'll tell them, like, I get it. It's embarrassing. But, like, if you can't tell them about this, they're probably not the one. Or if you're uncomfortable, I was like, text it to them. When they're at work, just, like, do some, like, you know, dirty texting. Like, oh, by the way, later, I'd love you to do this, 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 and this. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh. oh but okay. maybe they'll do that. And, like, you're not necessarily explaining to them what you want, but you are. So, like, sometimes men get, like, upset when you give them directions. They might be like, what, you think I can't do it? So if you're like, hey, what are you wearing? And it's like, I'm at work. I'm a suit. What do you mean? It's like, so later I want you to do this, 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 and this. Like, you know, I tell people to do that all the time. And then people are like, it was great, like, he did it, this, that, the other thing, because some people just can't explain it. It is awkward for some people, but if you're sitting there bumping uglies with somebody, you should be able to talk to them, but at the same time, a lot of people aren't. Yeah. No. So it's sad, but, like, at the same time, like, especially because the generation we live in, everything's texting and, like, social media, so, like, Face to face, shallow conversation. They can't get off unless they, it's like their way. Like they have like yeah. their like ritualist routine, yeah. and I'm like, what? Well, that's okay. Yeah. But if they don't do I'm their routine, forever, it's right. not going to work for them. It's like, yeah. No, you know what? There's so. an instant. It's okay to be self-conscious. It's okay to be a little insecure because and to be a little that. uncomfortable when somebody but starts not telling you what to if do. You're like, hey, do this. But if you're, you're not used to hearing that, like you're not used to somebody who's vocal and expressive and telling you exactly what they like, I can understand being a little. <laughs> you're like, literally, uh, holy shit! I know, like, I don't want to keep getting like the freaking ring. <laughs> you're about to end up with a Joker smile the next day. That's days. why I whoa. <laughs> that I could have drank all that. Dang, girl. But well, like, that's you know, why I'm trying to like work my way. Women and men around. both <laughs> deal with so many insecurities. We don't need I any don't more than it, we already have in our place. So if somebody is telling you, "This is what I like. This is what feels good," and you have the desire to please them, do it. It's kind of like cooking. Hey, I made you this dinner. Did you like it? If you say yes and you hated it, it's kind of like what? You're cooking. If you needed a little cooking. more time, <laughs> as time, as time. What? Not hooking, cooking. Like Not that you, kind like of If job. you cook somebody <laughs> dinner and said, did you like it, and they hate it, and they're like, yeah, that means you're going to keep getting the same fucking dish. They're going to definitely cook it again. Exactly. So It's your birthday, now they're going like, to cook you that dish thinking you love like, it. You know what? Yeah. You, you've made something your a little bit better. Or, you know, like, <laughs> there's a way to, like... You have to say whether you like something or you don't like something, because if not, there's you're going to keep getting though. the same thing there over is. and over. Absolutely. There's right and wrong ways. Even though we're recording. Okay. There's definitely right and wrong ways to address certain things. All right, so do you think age matters? My boyfriend is 25 years older than me. So the whole age thing, honestly, if both parties don't care, I mean, why should it matter? I mean, I get it, like, okay, your boyfriend's 25 years older than you. Depending on how old you are, there could be issues in the bedroom because of erection issues. But that, you know, could be it. It's a like, is like, that? Like, <laughs> once, when an 18-year-old is dating, like, a 30-year-old or something, like, what do you have in common? You know what I mean? Like, I By feel like... sex drive? Really? I mean, well, that's a Well, that's what I'm saying, but, like, at the right same there. time, like, you know, it's, like, two different generations. So I feel like it depends. But if you have stuff in common and you enjoy each other, I don't think age should really matter. I but I also agree. feel like it depends. Um, like, if a 30-year-old is dating a 60-year-old, like... I, I think it depends on your mentality and actually exactly what you're looking for from there a are, relationship. Exactly. There are and there could be guys that, that, that are super mature that like acts like she's thirty. Yeah. So then she could date a thirty year old and be perfectly, you know, fine with that. You know, because the whole thing with the men, you know, seriously yeah. much younger. I went back to but college do, with a bunch of twenty year olds and I'm thirty five years old. And I went back with like a bunch of eighteen, nineteen, twenty year olds. And some of them were more much the men I mean were more mature and more men than, like, the 30 and 35-year-olds and 40-year-olds that I've dated. Like, and you don't yeah. notice the difference. I mean, so if you have something in common with them, you have something. Oh. Me, I just couldn't do it. I feel like you can't stereotype okay. it because one 35-year-old you meet Every situation could be, different. like, Perfect. young as hell <laughs> and, like, act like a child, but then you meet another guy down the road who's 35 and he was raised, you know, differently and he... He's mature, you have more in common, and so it's like, man. it's <laughs> literally by person, so it's like, unitism means they're considering keeping it. 
Okay. <laughs> I like that. Right? Wait, say that again? Yeah, now I'm like thinking. I forgot. Because first Sam on. said, hell no. And then she said, yeah, criticism means you're, you're impeaching it. I guess that means. Oh, like direction? Like giving yeah. direction? That type of I thing? Mean, like, I don't you like this. care like for that. them to know right. yeah. what you no. like. Ab- yeah. Absolutely. Good call, Sam. Sam. Definitely a good call. Sam Ward? Hi, Sam! <laughs> the ones highlighted in green are the ones that I know. Yeah, oh, really? Sam's my buddy. I don't know why Chris advice. isn't in green. That's interesting. I like it. Yeah, that really made me sick. Yeah, no, it's absolutely true, too. And I swear to God, every time Sam gives me advice, it's like 100% on the ball. We are like the same person, only male and female, and it's just, it's, his advice is right. You're right, Sam. I love that. I see, I can't tell by the, the glare on the phone whether Sam was a girl or a guy, so I was just like, yeah. He's a guy. Hey. Sam's so, a great guy. My Sorry. boyfriend wants to get married, but I'm not ready. Tell them. Yeah, say that. Give them the option. Give right. them the choice. Like, okay, we'll get engaged, but can we... Yeah, but if you're not ready, it also well, depends. Like, I've been dating for five years and you're not ready. Maybe you're never going to be ready. Are you dating right, like years, if she's not ready months? to do it now, or does she want to do it in a few years, years so then you can do, like, the whole, like... Right, but sometimes we say we're not ready when the truth is is that we're not ready for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, True. I wish I knew, like, my boyfriend of one year, my boyfriend of three months. Like, if it's three months, yeah, obviously you're not ready. But if it's, like, my boyfriend of three years, like, exactly, I might not be ready for you. So I think it, like, all depends. Like, why aren't you ready? Like, are you? did you just start a two-year school program and you wanted yeah. to concentrate on that? So but maybe it doesn't matter how long oh, you've been dating. You just, like, you wanna, one of those progressive on the cool. steps that you take in a relationship. She's got to go now. <laughs> Come on. She's in show. <laughs> Oh, he's going in. He's Your tits are bouncing all over the place over here. I know. Yeah. Um, but like, you're all, like, you take certain progressive steps in a relationship. Don't knock him over. Don't knock him over. Oh, yeah, do you want to sit over here? Sure. Be careful. Because we already had that because the kids already. we got to go that way. Now, Kara. Nope, that's not right. Kara. It has to be. Nope. It's all good. All right, fine. Ollie says I have to be in it. There you go. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we're going to go in the bathroom. Yay. Thank you. Okay, so now that we have a guy here, even though you can't see him, do you think telling your partner the exact number of people you've slept with is important? Do I think telling my partner who's sitting in the room? (laughs) No, I'm just saying in general. Do you think it's important to tell your Um, partner? I think it's a conversation that should be had. Okay. I don't think it's necessary in, like, the first few months of relationship. Uh, I think if you're thinking about a long-term relationship, so that's when we start talking. Does it really matter out. though? Like if, like if she says one compared to like 87, like are you gonna stop dating her because she has sex with more people than you? Because I feel like it's a guy macho thing. Yeah, <laughs> to make yourself th- feel better. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. It's not so much that. It's more so, for me at least, it came down to a matter of experience. Okay. Um, Makes sense. If you're gonna be with somebody and you're a very sexually oriented person, then it might be important for you to know how experienced your significant other is. Would you like to so that you know. Thank can you. you not figure that out by like? And how can we like destroy them? I mean, honestly, but at the same time, they're not it's experienced. Not you can destroy them. It's not destroying them. Oh, it's like to destroy them. Oh no, I don't destroy like, people. Usually, <laughs> from what I've heard, it's like the guy's usually more experienced than the girl, and there's no issue because the guy doesn't care. He can teach the girl this or the other thing. But if it's the other way around. I've heard that guys, very guys get very insecure and intimidated, like, oh, my God, like, exactly, like, and has she had bigger penises? Like, yeah. if she's had sex with five <laughs> people, I've had sex with two. Like, I also think, though, like, at a certain point, that shit just doesn't matter anymore to a female. Like, at no, least on, you know, honestly, on my as behalf, a, like, as a female, the question I hear from priorities is, have you ever had a bigger penis than mine? How do you answer that though? It's like I it's just own a drawer full of dicks bigger <laughs> so, yeah. than yours. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I tell dicks better and bigger than personal. yours, and like, they vibrate. Um, so yes, I've had better than you. One that um, vibrates, but it's like my vagina can't measure. So like, if yeah. I have, like kind of dated someone for like a month or two, right? right. Like that's I, why I, I, I didn't measure it. As a so female, I, don't know. I hate that question. Like I don't, I don't have know. a yardstick in there that's gonna help no, you figure this out. Like once he's all the way, it's like. Five inches. <laughs> and a half, like, ding, 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 we got a winner. Because, I mean, like, I've only, 